In this video, we will be studying about the types of money. The first we have is difference between fiat money and fiduciary money. Now see, fiat money is what? which is by order or by authority of the government okay you have money in the market with the which is issued by the government which means your notes and coins are your fiat money now your fiat money it refers to money which is issued by order or authority of the government so it includes your notes and paper coins and then we have the fiduciary money right? which is See, it is a money which is backed, backed by the trust between the payer and the pay. Now what does this mean? Checks. There are two parties involved in it. The payer and the pay. And the middleman that is your bank. Right. It is not the actual money, it is not the money which is authorized by the uh, government, but it is the trust between the two parties that is the pair and the pay. So checks with checks also you get a medium of exchange, you transfer your money from one person to other. So this is your fiduciary money. It refers to money backed up by trust between payer and the pay. Checks of fiduciary money as these are accepted as a means of payment on the basis of trust not on the basis of any order by the government so you should check to someone and someone gets the money you are a pair that person is a pay and bank is a middleman so this is the difference between a fiat money and the fiduciary money now the difference between full bordered money and the credit money see let me explain you this is a coin of rupees So the money value is what you worth what you can buy from this five rupees a good worth rupees five. So this is the money value of this five rupees coin that is rupees five. The second value which is attached in this coin is the commodity value. See your 5 rupees coin is made of, made of some metal, right? So the cost of production of that particular coin is the commodity value, right? In order to produce a coin, you require the metal, you require some other things as well. So that is the commodity value from which the coin is made up of so the commodity value either should be equal to the money value or the commodity value should be less than the money value see if there is a gold coin and you are printing rupees 5 on it so 
the value that is the good you can buy is rupees five. But if you sell this gold coin with rupee uh, money value five in the market, you will get ten thousand. See what the commodity value is and what the money value is. So the commodity value should not be. should not be greater than money value the metal which you are using to make rupees 5 coin should be of low value than rupees 5 the cost of production should be less than rupee 5 on it so this is your money different money value and the commodity value so what is now let's understand what is a full bordered money it refers to the money in terms of coins whose commodity value is equal to the money value as and when these are issued see when these are issued it refers to money in terms of coins whose commodity value is equal to the money value as and when they are issued right a rupee coin during the british period in india was made of silver the commodity value of the coin was equal to its money value at that time of issue so now what it saying is that if you have a 5 rupee coin then the value of the metal that is used in the coin should be equal to the money value the value that a money can be exchanged for so this is a full bordered money the second we have is credit money it refers to that money of which money value is more than the commodity value now see if you have a note of rupees 2000 these days so what will be the cost of production of this note it's just a mere paper and you have some graphics in some codes that you use in the rupee 2000 rupee note right but what are the goods the note can buy goods what rupees Two thousand. So here the commodity value is less than the money value. The money value is two thousand. But what is the value of this paper? The paper is very cheap as compared to the two thousand rupees. So this is the credit money. Let's uh, understand the definition of money value of money. I have told you what is money value of money. It refers to what is inscribed on a coin or written on a paper note means a 500 note 100 rupees 50 rupees 10 rupees 20 rupees 2000 rupee note 
right? Or point of rupee five, rupee ten, rupee one, rupee two. So these are the money value of money. Means you can exchange the goods money worth rupees five hundred, two thousand. Okay. The second we have is the commodity value of money. It refers to value of the things, the money is made of. See, the material with which your money is made of, the value of that material is the commodity value of money. If the coins are made of gold or silver, as was the practice in the old day, commodity value of money refers to the market value of gold or silver coin in the contained in the coin. So, commodity value of money is the value of the particular metal or commodity from which your money is made of. I hope you have understood the types of money. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.